That's recording, and I hit capture on the other device, right? I better double check. <laughs> that would be funny if we went through the entire thing and you didn't have capture. No, on. it is capturing, it's 30 seconds in. That's good. That it is. My batteries are low, gee thanks game. I'm gonna ignore that message, hopefully I don't have to replace the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, it would make so much fun of you. <laughs> you didn't do the, the color syncing. I, I'm about to do that. Start with file one. YES! Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi. And Kiritora. We don't have Evil Pop-Tart today because he is very sick. Oh, everyone's getting sick. <laughs> yep. And the next person to get sick would be me, which would mean no updates for the week because I'm the guy who has to do the recording and editing. Yeah, that would suck. But Evil Pop-Tart is really sick. I told him, you better watch these episodes. I'm going to make sure you watch these episodes. I'm going to force you to watch these episodes. <laughs> and I am going to call everybody by the names that he made. Like, I'm gonna... I, I don't normally call her Twinkle, but I'll call her Twinkle. Just for him. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll call Tippy Twinkle, too, just for Evil Pop-Tart. Evil Pop-Tart. The point I was gonna make is we fought uh, O'Chunks, Mimi, and Dementio, and those are like the three sub-mini bad guys, and you know, we still have a couple of chapters to go. Who's gonna take their places? Or will we fight them again? Or will something else happen? Hmm. Since I don't have Evil Pop Tart 2, no, I'll yeah. rely these questions off of. I'm just gonna, I guess, pose open questions to the audience. That's your open question. See, if you this, this is game. deep here. I know he's talking, but. You can kind of tell how Nastasia feels about Count Black. This is admittedly a part of the plot I do not remember well. Nor do I remember Dementia just randomly eavesdropping, but okay. He eavesdrops a lot. That's Dementia. Sorry. That's fine. I like how Peach just calls it a little weird. She is totally sugarcoating it. Yeah, she is, yeah. It was a lot of weird. <laughs> Bug face. <laughs> so this is where we realize, oh, Bowser. He's the third hero. How about that? Nito, yep. you just have one more person to get. Now, one more from the story. Question is, who is the fourth hero? Yep, we'll figure that out. You saved Twinkle. <laughs> Now, I like this line that the castle was once a dwelling of the Asians, I told you earlier, which leads me to believe, this this is my little theory behind it, that Francis was kicked out of his parents' house and then found the castle and decided to make it his own. Probably. And it happened to be the castle where the pure heart was. Does that sound plausible? Probably. It doesn't uh, like... seem like it was inherited at all. Uh, if, yeah. It, it makes a whole lot more sense that Francis just managed to pick it up and decided to start living there. Yeah. Because he's an ugly, weird freak. <laughs> no real life friends. No. Nope. Talk, talk to people using Spoon.exe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going digibutter.ner. It makes you wonder if anyone out there on the internet lives on their own little island outside of every other country in the world. Or every other universe of the world. Sometimes you wonder that looking at Sometimes. YouTube comments. 
Do you live on the planet Earth? Well, you could go on websites like IMVU or Arcadia or Second Life, and then you could pretend like you're living another life. If you know that's your thing. <laughs> well, why don't we take care of some business? I have uh, some items to collect, and actually, I looked through all like everything I'm supposed to collect at this point. There's only two things I'm missing: one card in one two, and one thing in three one. And I missed the thing on three one on purpose. Because we're gonna be getting why? a new pixel. Oh yeah. Okay. You remember him? Now you have to go back and tell him the story. <laughs> no more stupid hints? Yes, we defeated Francis. I like having Bowser out his dialogue. It's it's so <laughs> evil Pop Tart. It's how very rash. Yeah, how Direct. evil Pop Tart is. Usually, he's gonna <laughs> kill me. <laughs> So, his name is Barry. Do you think he's gonna get a clever name from Google Pop Tart? We'll have to find out when he gets back. But, uh, Barry is this game's super guard, actually. Which means, you know, he is, uh, very much loved by the Super Paper Mario pros, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's stick together. So, he creates a barrier. Now, uh,. When I first played this game, I like almost didn't use Barry at all. Matter of fact, I picked up Barry way, way after the fact after I beat the game because I completely forgot about him. And looking back, he is um, uh, probably more useful than a lot of people give him credit for. It's just you forget you have him so much. Yeah. So let me try reflecting this Magic Koopa's projectile here. Like so. Ha ha ha! In your face! Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Come on, fire you! Ha 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 ha! I win, I win my projectile. So, and that can be pretty useful. Indeed. Another potential use here, if I can get it here, is you could attack enemies above you. Oh, god damn it! Son of a bitch! Well, you know what? We kind of needed to go back, didn't we? There is a card I have to get in the level, and it's all the way back Who there by the back the card? Yeah. There, uh, now I'm channeling Evil Pop-Tart. We have to get the card. That means I have to run all the way through all that bullshit again because the damn no, back No, I don't. Yes, we're getting the card. You better do it in fast motion. The audience doesn't deserve any speed up because I hate this fucking back curse, yeah. Well, it's not their fault that you went and jumped on it, now is it? See? Get the card. My logic wins. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's right. It's up here. You have to climb up on this guy's leg, jump across a bunch of platforms, jump here, jump here, get the card. Got it. Now before we leave... No! Somebody deserves to be blown up. You're just I almost landed time. on him. I thought he was going to be over here. Look at that son of a bitch. He's like, oh, I'm going to get Miles Luigi. I'm going to get Miles Luigi. I'm going to get Miles Luigi. Not this time, you bastard. <laughs> but now you're just wasting more time. You could have just hit into him and then you would have been... Whoop, gone. Oh, oh my gosh. That was worth nothing more than a Piranha Plant card and a lot of frustration. That was not worth anything. That was a time waster. We did not need that card. Do we need the card to survive? No. Are we going to eat the card to survive? But I now do double damage against Piranha Plants. No. That's <laughs> not useful at all. <laughs> Seeing as I'm one-shotting the Piranha Plants, yes. Uh, then there's a one card I missed in 1-2, and reasonably slow because it's an extremely easy card to miss in 1-2. This I might jump cut over. Yes, please. Okay, so way at the end of World 1-2, in Green's house, if you live in 3D in his house, around where the lever was, which uh, the game won't let us press, it won't budge, there's a red and green card, which that is actually not worth anything at all. <laughs> We're going to do double damage against red and green. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I had to sit through all that. Oh, let's just get the next pure heart filler, shall we? Yes. Yay! Why did I jump off this side of the tower? Because you like to do it. <laughs> well, I had to run more. <laughs> if exactly. I had jumped off the right, I would have been right at the elevator. 
But I know your reasoning already. <laughs> anyway, the pure heart pillar next um, involves uh, way out on the flip side outskirts. There were these stakes over here. If you're a first time player, you get confused. Which we now have to use paperweight to uh, solve this puzzle. Yeah, paperweight. Now you look at the stakes in 3D, and they have arrows on them. You have to follow them. I just happen to know off the top of my notes and playing this game before that you just have to hit the last two, and they're all in order. For last example, two. Hit... Yep, the last two, because oh my gosh, game. No, that one's not a down the last arrow. two. You have to do it. See, it's okay, this... up, down, up, down. That's what I meant. These last two, instead of these three over here. Am I not making any sense? No, you said last two. That makes no sense. That's the last two, right? No, you mean the last two are up, and then the last two are down. That, no, it's zigzag. Zigzag! You press the one on the left the most, and then you press the second one on the left the most, and you solve the puzzle. <laughs> With that, the next okay, door that's, actually that's opens not... right away, so we could actually start Chapter 4 right now. Shall we do that? It's pretty early on, but... Sure! We can go ch start Chapter 4. I think we can do that. If you don't pick up any more frivolous cards and stuff like that. <laughs> Yay! Here we go! <laughs> Through the fierce battle against Francis. That wasn't a very fierce battle game. Twinkle! And the Mario gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them both. What awaited the vaster and stranger than anything they've encountered so far? In order to claim the nephthe, in order to claim the pure hearts, they would have to endure new far out travels. Well, that Trial. doesn't cause a trials. Chapter four one. Is Alakitu going to totally pound us in? Oh, it's into outer space. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I actually kind of liked this one. It's space. This was before Super Mario Galaxy, mind you. But that's okay, I can... I like a space chapter, low gravity, uh, space enemies, fun stuff like that. All of a sudden... What, 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 what? He can't breathe! Oh, I, um... I suppose. He, he doesn't have a space suit, nor does he have a Luma in his hat, as I was alluding to Super Mario Galaxy. So yeah, he can't breathe. <laughs> you're, an, you're, you're too early into space, Mario. Now go find a Luma. We gotta go find a Luma. No. Well, it looks like that won't work quite like that, and I don't we suppose have... we could send Peach or Bowser into space. Both of them need to breathe, too. Yeah, it'll be the same if you go in there with them. Yay, I got a Merlon. Uh, <laughs> ask Tippy what to do next, and Tippy literally no, tells us, yeah, you... No, you have to you... say Twinkle. Twinkle. Twinkle tells us we have to go ask Merlon. Why did you do that again? Because I like falling off! But you're wasting more time! The fortune teller will probably tell us we have to go to Merlon too. Oh uh, yeah, so it wouldn't be really worth it now, would it? I feel like wasting money. Stop wasting money! It's 60 coins, I'll hear it. Yeah, but that adds up, man. Guys, he's making me angry on purpose. He's, he's making me wait. <laughs> Everyone tells us to go to Merlon. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I won't make you wait any longer and say not really and have him... She probably just repeats that advice, go to Merlon. Will anyone tell me to not go to Merlon? Maybe the shopkeeper will help me. No, no, the shopkeeper won't help you at all. 
No, go to Merland! Stop it! No! Okay, we'll go to Merlons. I only did that to deposit the gold bar I had in my inventory because it was wasting inventory space. No, but the you way did I phrased... it to make me angry. I, I did it in a way to make it you so angry. <laughs> 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 yes! We completed all of Chapter 4! Correct. No, incorrect. I like the idea of just in completing Chapter seconds. 4 immediately. Jeez, we're awesome. We completed Chapter 4 in 11 seconds flat. I know. We're elite. I think we need a spacesuit too, Merlon, not just a space helmet. Just <laughs> That doesn't protect us. Suspend against... belief. Suspend belief. <sighs> that does not protect us against the big difference in atmospheric or that's not even really atmospheric pressure, just big difference in pressure between Mario's body and space if you just had the helmet on. Yeah. You go. Oh, blast it! Yeah, like that. <laughs> mhm. Mm he was making space. Is that supposed to be a pun? Yeah, probably. A random boy. I still don't like this idea. We should either get a Luma on our head or a space suit, not just a helmet. I know but where to go, I think. Maybe we should go it's to the fortune place teller we again. Always fall into. Up here? I'm surprised I didn't use the return pipe and then fall down here. If I should have done that. Right, he has a speech impediment. Let's see. Something? Yeah, he does. <laughs> you mean this fishbowl? Yeah, I kept it, Captain Gills here at the cup. A fishbowl? Yeah, <laughs> or a really space helmet? Wow, kid, you need to pay closer attention in your English class. Or yeah, flip side class. Yeah, that fish looks really dead. Is there even a school in Flipside? No. I find this to be self-evident that Flipside has no education system. People just learn. Hey, we got the fishbowl. <clears throat> we gotta find a place to release the fish. And if we were paying attention, he says something along the lines of, I don't want you to place them in a far, far away place. So we gotta find a place in Flipside to uh, deposit the fish. Do you want me to tell you where to go? Sure. Keep going down. Why can't I fall down? Because... Falling is so much faster than these stupid elevators. I know, but... You gotta keep going down. There you go. I agree with that idea. We'll release the captain right here. Suddenly, I really... it turns into a space helmet. I really, really, <laughs> really, really disagree with the idea of just wearing the helmet, but I guess maybe I shouldn't question Nintendo logic. It's a video game. Okay. I do suppose. I do suppose. Um. Well, I think that's about it. Yes, oh, then we can finally start on this level here, and well, not think... waste time. I think we're going to go ahead and start Chapter 4 on the next episode of Let's Play Super no! Paper Mario. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a veteran See, of this game, no, and I... You wasted time in an entire episode. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna game. apologize to all of you. I'm sorry. I know my batteries are running low. Game, shut up. <laughs> okay, you're a veteran of this game, Kiri Tora. I've played this game. We all know. Anybody who's played this game knows what's coming up. And uh, yeah, well, I kind of need Evil Pop Tart for the next part. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I suppose. So. Or Evil Pop Tart. Oh, or Evil Pop Tart. 
Get better, Evil Pop Tarts. We'll need yeah, ya in we'll the immediate future. So, this has been Miles Luigi. And Kiri Tora. And. We'll see you later. That's Dash L. He allows you to run really fast. Yes, we're leaving now. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Bye. I don't want to leave, but okay. Alright, well, you said that we had to leave. You were the one that said we had to stop. Okay. Alright, I'm really stopping now. Bye bye You really sure? Really, really? Stop it! We're stopping! Now! <laughs> Unless you want to run around. I can run around. No. Well... I only took your suggestion. I'll run around. Well, the, what is there to do? There's nothing to do over here. There's signs to read. Sign, 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 sign. Monster advisory. <laughs> wee, wee, wee.